You know who it be? Choose yourself up. And this video topic will be about why you don't get any extra points playing life on hard mode. So why are you? Let's get into it. Now, okay, think about this. Okay, you're playing a game, a video game. I don't care what game. Minecraft, Mario, whatever. And you're playing the game on the hardest difficulty ever. You're playing Doom, okay? I don't know, pop into my head, we'll go with that. You're playing Doom. On the hardest difficulty ever. You're going through the hardest waves, the most enemies, the hardest enemies. You're giving it your all blood, sweat, tears. Giving it your all. You're stressed out. You keep dying, you keep failing, you keep trying. Harder and harder and harder and so much stress, so many things, so many things to do, so many enemies to keep up with. And after you beat the game, you beat the boss, you beat the game. And at the end, you can't even feel the pleasure because everything gets deleted. And you don't even get anything special. No bonus golden armor, no new weapons, no new bonus points, no scoreboard to keep track. Everything gets deleted off. Everything gets deleted off. That is what life is about. Life is about you don't get any bonus points at the end. You don't. There is no point in working your ass off, playing life on hard mode. When you can be working and playing life on normal mode or easy mode and get just as much things as hard mode would. You don't get any extra points at the end of the finish line, aka when you die. You don't get any extra points. Basically, anything you do, you're all gonna finish the same place. We're all gonna finish in the same place, in a grave, feeding the worms. But our money doesn't come with us. Our success doesn't come with us. Nothing comes with us. Okay, when we die, we die, we die, the end, black screen. So why work so hard on so many things? Why work a life of suffering so much for barely anything? Thinking that, oh, I worked a hard life. I feel pride in that. No, it's working smart and working hard, don't get it twisted, are two different things. Working hard. Oh, I run to the gym every single day to save a bit of money. Working smart, I pay the fucking bus ticket, I get there faster. The amount of energy and time you save by taking the fucking bus instead of running is... Short term is not a lot. Long term, it's the biggest difference possible. Imagine that with other little things. Oh, I can learn something by heart by myself. Yeah, it'll just take me 5 to 10 years. Or I can give myself like a mentor. Or a teacher. Or learn from online. Take me like one, two years to learn it then. But nah, nah, I can do by myself. I can do by myself, therefore I'm gonna do by myself. It took me five to ten years. People out there know more and learn more and faster than you because they just decide to take shortcuts in terms of being smart. There's nothing wrong with taking shortcuts because technically shortcuts are being smart. But don't be working life on hard mode for nothing. Oh, I need to do everything, I need to code everything. Or you just take 50 to 100 bucks out of your pocket and hire some damn coder to code whatever little thing you want for your website instead of doing it all by yourself. Because some things take forever and we all have 24 hours in the day. So do you want to do everything yourself when you only have 24 hours or do you want to give certain things to some other people that have 24 hours just as much time as you? Just dedicate on that one little thing. I learned this from guys who talk about their businesses. Certain things you want to have something that can uh, run, run on its own. And you want to know things, know the basics. But you don't want to be doing everything yourself. Because if you do everything yourself, you waste so much energy and time and mental power. And you can't focus on the grand scheme of things long term. Because you're focusing so much on the coding, you have no time to go for business appointments, to schedule calls and meetings. To make certain hard choices, now you're too busy coding. When you could be paying someone else to code for you. 
I'm not saying go and spend all some money on things. I'm not saying go for shortcuts costly. I'm saying think smart. Because we, do, we don't get any extra points when we die. A man who works on his farm and just used a fucking hoe. Oh yeah, he worked super hard. Every day, eight hours, got like a couple of square meters of uh, land done per day. Or a man who just saved up money, bought the fucking machine, and got 50 times more done in the same amount of time as the other farmer. Smart. Working hard. Difference. Think about that. What things are you doing right now that could be done smarter, that don't require so much work, that you're just busting your ass off for nothing? I have no problem if you want to save money. I got no problem if you want to work hard. But if you don't work smart, you will not make it as far. And you will not get any extra points at the end. You might fail certain things because you're just too stubborn. Take it from me, fellas. I'm a pretty stubborn guy. I want to learn everything by myself. I don't want to listen to anyone. Not the best combination. I mean, I love learning shit, yeah, but I got this pride side where I want to do things myself. That's great and all, but not for everything. Not for everything, not for things that take years to learn by yourself. So, think about it. Work smart, not just hard. You don't get any extra points at the end of the finish line when you die. So living life in the shitty way possible is not the best thing. It's not. Don't forget to like the video. Share, comment, subscribe. This video is kind of depressive. But it's an important message, so whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.